Damn, this thing looks good as hell, bro. Y'all see we on that drag pack, man. Like the idol sounds completely different, I can't lie. I ain't gonna lie, like my boy RK got that that stock here, I'm going stupid. I can't this is just a completely different car, bro. Give y'all a quick walk around, bro. This thing is looking too good. Sheesh. Oh my god. The drag pack just completes this car in like every way. I can't wait to get a set of front runners for this joint though, cause one, I definitely need them, and two, they definitely gonna, having just a fat ass tire up front with a mad skinny wheel, plus the mad fat tire in the rear. Sheesh. Let's go ahead and hit the road, man. Yerp. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we actually do have a race video for y'all. Now, I can't lie, this video is so spontaneous, it literally just fell in my lap, to be honest with y'all. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda talk about how this whole race took place. Let's go ahead and get straight into these runs and then I'll talk about how the runs kind of came about after them because I know you guys want to see the races so I'm just going to jump straight into them. Alright you guys, so there you have it. We ran three times in total. We did 140 and 250 rolls. Now the first 50 roll, I'm not gonna lie, um, bro said that his car didn't shift. And you can definitely tell because the car literally like, it started pulling and then it just fell flat on its face. Um, so as you guys seen, I stopped and then, you know what I'm saying, let bro get back up. And he was like, yo, like, can we run it again? I'm like, yeah, so we ran it back and y'all seen what happened. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this race fell into my lap. So my boy Frankie invited me out to a car meet Saturday night. Now, as you guys just seen, if you've been in the loop, in the loop with all of the vlogs and all of the videos, in the last video, we just retuned this car. We are now tuned by RK Speed. And I cannot lie, this car is a completely different animal. The car drives different, it sounds different, as you guys also heard from the beginning clip, and you guys see on how this car is pulling. Um, legit, like, RK knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to six gens, hands down. This is the first file on 93. We have not done any revisions. We're not on E85. We're solely on 93, and this car is moving like that. So now, let me go ahead and just get into the races. So basically, man, like I said, my boy Frankie invited me out to a meet. Now, I had already put the drag pack on the car prior to knowing about the meet. 
solely because I thought that I was going to be able to record a data log and send it over to Arcade so that he could send me a new file. And I have no traction at all on my stock wheels and tires. So, therefore, I pulled the drag pack out. Now, with that being said, I ran into some technical difficulties with my AEM wideband. I have to get a new harness. I already reached out to AEM. They're sending it out to me. And then that way I can be able to send a new log. Um, but... That being said, I wasn't able to send a log. I'm still on the first revision. I still went out to the meet. I already knew that because of the simple fact that I had the drag pack on the car, somebody was going to want to race. My boy Frankie was already talking about it. He told me that they said they were thinking about doing like a little race roll night after the meet. So I reached out to RK and I was like, yo, bro, like I'm linking up with the guys. We're going to a car meet. You already know how this type of stuff goes. That's a dude on a bicycle. Wow. All right. Anyway, um, you already know how this type of stuff goes, man. You get around the guys, you get your cars out. Of course, you're going to get a run in. Um, so that being said, that's exactly what happened. When we pulled up to the second spot because the first spot got burnt, we pulled up to the second spot and a GA owner came up to me and was like, yo, bro, you want to run it? I'm like, shit, man, why not? You know what I'm saying? What you trying to do? Bro was like, so we could do the 40. I said, bet 41, 40. Um, and we'll call it a day. Bro's like, yeah, I'm down. So we went ahead, hopped in the cars and hit the streets of Mexico. Got the runs in, man. And I can't lie. Like Vader is completely different. Bro's car is no slouch like whatsoever. Bro has a Texas Speed Stage 3 cam and a stall converter in his car. They're like headers, intake. There's like his car is not slow by any means. Bro said he should be roughly 516 to the wheel, somewhere around there, which is actually not bad. But it's just the tune, bro. It's it's just the tune. At the end of the day, to put it into perspective for you guys, on the previous tune, when I raced Frankie, which had which has a similar car to bros, he has a Holden, um, which is essentially a G8. Bro's car is Botons. Tune, no E85, 93, um, just Botan's tune on 93. So that being said, when we raced, Vader put like four cars on him. That was a Botan SS car. As you guys just seen, when we raced that G8 that has the cam and the Botans, we put four cars on him. So that just like goes to a test to how good of a tune we're really working with now and i'm just so blessed to finally 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 be able to say like bro we have a legitimate tuner like this car feels amazing it feels phenomenal it feels like you're always in the power band the throttle response is crazy like it actually feels like i have port work done to the car other than the fact that you know the intake manifold and the intake whistle like crazy while you're you know what i'm saying on the throttle other than that, you could never really tell that this car had any porting work done because the throttle response wasn't like as it is now. Like, watch, I'm going to blip the throttle. Literally, like, I just, I'm, it's, I literally had to relearn how to drive this car solely because it's just working with so much more now. It's so much more alive now. At first, like, it, it felt like at the top end, it would fall off. It would it would die. Like it, it literally felt like it was falling on its face after like 110, 115. Now this car pulls and it pulls like a freaking freight train. I'm gonna go ahead and play a clip real quick before I close out this video of the first 50 roll. And you guys are gonna see the front end of this car lifts the hell up, bro. It's crazy like the front end lifts up as if I was doing a dig bro that's the like that's the most mind-blowing thing to me is the fact that how high the front end lifted up off the 50 road bro it's crazy but yeah man with all that being said y'all that's gonna wrap it up for today's video I will leave you guys with this though I do have a couple more runs lined up so be expecting to see a vet be expecting to see a hold in and be expecting to see a couple Mustangs. 
With that being said, See y'all in the next one. Peace.